What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and today we're gonna to be walking through my top three tips on how to use LinkedIn to land a job. LinkedIn is a fantastic place to look for a job. It's its own little ecosystem where career driven people can connect and talk with one another and help each other find jobs. I personally have landed jobs through LinkedIn and so I know how effective it can be. Let's jump over to my screen and I'm gonna show you my top three strategies that I have found to be the most successful to actually finding a job. So I'm logged into my completely anonymous account here and I'm gonna show you the very first tip, which is you shouldn't be just applying to a position, you should be actually reaching out to the recruiter and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing that we have to do is to actually find a job that we want to apply to. So let's go to the job section right over here and let's search for data analyst and let's do that in, uh, let's do Chicago, because why not? Uh, so it's going to search for data analyst positions in Chicago. Uh, we have one right here. Let's see what it looks like because, you know, I don't want to apply to jobs that I'm not extremely qualified for. So this is a job that I want to apply for. And before I actually go and apply to the job, I want to see if I can reach out to a recruiter and talk to them beforehand. So let me show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is actually click on the company right here. And it's going to take us to basically their LinkedIn profile page for their entire company. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to go over to people. And then we're going to search for recruiter. So if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we can see that there are recruiters that actually work in house for this company. And so now would be a time where I actually reach out to some of these recruiters and I say, hey, I see a job that I really like. I think I'm really qualified for and I would love to talk more about it with you. You can ask them things about the job to make sure that it is a good fit for you. And then I highly recommend you asking them what they think is the best way to apply for this job to make sure that your resume gets noticed and you get an interview. Since they are a recruiter who works at this company, they may be the one who's actually gonna be looking at these resumes. And so they may give you a tip on the best way to actually apply. They may also just ask you to send them your resume directly so that they can look at it. Or maybe later on down the line, this actually is a person who is reviewing resumes. And so if they come across your resume, they may be able to put a face to the name and that may give you bonus points. I'm gonna leave a template script in the description in case you don't know exactly what you want to say to this recruiter, and it'll give you just a baseline of some of the things that you might wanna say. Number two is to actually ask for a referral. Now, if you don't know what a referral is, it is where somebody who already works at the company can refer you to a specific job, and it might get you a little bit higher on the list for interviews. So I highly recommend reaching out to somebody who already works at that company and ask if they're willing to be a referral for you. I get people reaching out to me all the time asking to be a referral for them for my company, and nine times out of 10, I say yes. I always ask to see their resume first just to make sure that their resume aligns with the position at least a little bit, but there's basically no harm in me being a referral for somebody. In fact, I may actually get a bonus if that person ends up getting hired. And so for the most part, there's almost no risk for the employee to actually being a referral, and so a lot of times they will say yes. Now let me show you how to do that, and it is very similar to finding a recruiter. So we're gonna stay on this people section, but instead of searching for a recruiter, we're gonna search for a job title that is similar to yours. So let's actually see if they do already have any data analysts. And if they do, that is the person that we're gonna reach out to because that is the person we'll probably have the best connection with. So it looks like we have six employees and let's scroll down. And so it looks like all these people have data related jobs. And so I would reach out to these people and say, I saw an open data analyst position at your company. I would love to know more about your company as a whole. And then you can talk to them a little bit. And then in the end, your goal is to ask them for a referral. And if that happens, that is fantastic. And then you can go ahead and apply for the job and mark them as a referral for you. Now, my third tip on how to get a job through LinkedIn is to actually have recruiters reach out to you. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing we're gonna do is to actually go over to my profile here and we'll click view profile. Now, there's a few things that we want to make sure that we have on here so that recruiters can reach out to us. The first thing that I wanna do is to actually come to this section right here, which is show recruiters you're open to work. And when I click on this, I can actually choose some job titles and some locations where I actually want to apply and have recruiters reach out to me. And so right now I have data analyst, I have in the DFW area, which is where I live. I can also add titles like business analyst, um, and then maybe junior data analyst, entry level data analyst, or things like that that could potentially have recruiters reach out to me for positions that I'm interested in. And then you can say that you're immediately and actively applying. And you can also say that you're only looking for full-time positions or contract positions. And then you can actually add this to your profile. And I only want recruiters to see that because I do currently have a job at McDonald's. And so I don't want McDonald's firing me because I'm looking for employment elsewhere. So let's save that. And it looks like it was updated. 
And so now when recruiters are searching for candidates for a specific position, you will be on that list so that they can find you and reach out to you. Something else I should mention is on your profile page, I would try to have some type of professional photo so that you look really good. I would also try to include data analyst somewhere in your title. If you already have a data analyst job and you're looking for another one, you can just have your previous company. But if you're looking for a data analyst job, you can always put seeking data analyst position or something like that. Another thing that I think is really important is having really good descriptions for your previous work. I don't currently have this, but I would go a little bit into the work that I actually do. Make sure that the experience matches kind of what you're looking for if you do have previous experience. If not, that's totally fine. The next section on your profile page that I would recommend looking at and updating is your skill section. And so you wanna go in there and make sure that you have all of your relevant, really data analyst heavy skills on there, specifically hard skills because soft skills aren't gonna to translate too much into this section. I would definitely stick to things like SQL, Python, Tableau, Excel, things that data analysts are going to use because this is where they're gonna actually look and see if you have the skills that they are looking for for that position. When I was applying to jobs and only applying to job postings and not using any of these strategies, my success rate was 0.04, which means out of 1,000 applications that I filled out and sent my resume to, I only heard back from four of them to actually get an interview. But with these strategies, I was able to get that up to 10% and at my best, I was able to get that up to 15%. But that's because I was applying to a lot less positions and I was targeting jobs that I really wanted to work for. And so I put in more effort in order to contact people and work with recruiters in order to get that job. I genuinely hope that these strategies can be helpful for you, especially if you're trying to apply for jobs right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video and got anything out of it at all, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.